Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India theoretical part also some numerical problems i try to solve it and today uh, today uh, the last part of this uh, particular uh, uh, lecture that is on kinetics of homogeneous chemical reactions now if you look at the in the previous lecture what we try to cover uh, initially we discussed about the rate equations for irreversible reaction then rate equation for reversible reaction then rate equations for the chain reactions and then uh, we try to find out how we can find out the time required uh, for getting the maximum intermediate uh, uh, product concentration intermediate uh, that uh, uh, product concentration in chain reaction uh, or uh, then uh, we try to uh, solve some kind of numerical problems try to calculate the activation energy of a chemical reaction then try to analyze uh, some uh, uh, the how the time of conversion related uh, time of reaction how it is related with the percentage conversion of the substrate and uh, and today uh, what i am going to do that uh, i am going to discuss a typical type another special type of reactions what we call second order reaction because up till now mostly we covered the first order reaction so we try to find out that um, <coughs> how the second order reaction the problems of the second order re reaction can be solved and also <coughs> i have a problems on the chain reaction and uh, how about two different approach how we can use for solving a chain reaction so first let me <coughs> go through this uh, problem that the first problem is that uh, this is we quoted from uh, that helen and jungers uh, that they published in 1957 the presence the data uh, data the table if a table on the reaction of sul sulfuric acid and di ethyl sulfate in aqua solution at 22.9 degree celsius and the reaction is this this is high sulfuric acid in presence of diethyl sulfate it produces the ethyl <coughs> bisulfate the initial concentration of h2so4 and diethyl sulfate are each 5.5 mol per liter find the rate equation for this reaction now previously we can remember that we try to solve the first order reaction we try to develop the rate equation for the first order reaction and this is the second order reaction we try to solve today now this is the uh, this is the data that is given this is the, you can see that with respect to time how the product concentration that changes so that has been given here this is all data is given here <coughs> now this is a, a reaction and at time t equal to 0 that uh, that uh, that uh, ca ca will be ca0 but at time t that uh, uh, what will happen that uh, the xa will be converted this is not ta0 this is this should be at time t this is not ta0 this is uh, the, this is equal to ca0 minus ca0 into xa let us assume the xa is the conversion i told you previously also xa is the the fraction that the substrate fraction that is converted this is ca minus ca0 minus ca0 this is like this so we can this is the fraction of b that is converted and this is uh, what the uh, that product formation takes place the concentration of product can be expressed as this the 2 ca0 into into xa xa is the concentration of uh, divided by 2 ca 0 because this is ca 0 this is also the equimolecular is there so we considered that you know that xa 
the fraction we can we can that is uh, see uh, that you know so the ethyl bisulfate divided by two moles of initial substrate concentration. Now this is uh, from this uh, uh, we can we can write this expression because if we, if, we, if we have this value that is concentration of this divided by two C A zero and C A zero value is about uh, a five point five. This is this is given here and so uh, we can calculate we can calculate we can find out the value of x a and just we can find out the value of x a here and uh, with respect to time we can find out from the table now uh, this is the correlation that we have because uh, because this is like this something like this a plus b gives to c like this this is the reaction that we have the so uh, this can be presented like this this is k is the rate constant if you have now what you can write this is the rate of substrate degradation a, a or b whatever is there then uh, this is equal to k into c a and c b and c a is equal to c a 0 into c a 0 into x a this is the fraction that is converted and that remains and here also that uh, x a the same fraction equimolecular conversion is there so we can assume the c a 0 minus c a that is there because c a 0 and equal to c b 0 that as per the problem is concerned then we can we can we can take the c a 0 common then if and and uh, we can have the equation that uh, like this so we can we can uh, we can have this equation that uh, k into c a 0 so here c a 0 and here also c a 0 if you if you if you take common then uh, then the c a 0 square is there so one c a 0 will cancel so another c a 0 is remain so 1 minus x a square that is that is there we can we can write this expression like this now once you get this equation that uh, uh, this so i can i can take it in uh, this side 1 minus x a i can take it this side and t dt i can take it this side so i can write this is that d x a divided by 1 minus x a square equal to k into c a 0 and then if you do the differentiation we'll uh, we'll get this equation that that x a by um, by 1 minus x a k um, into c a so so if we plot now if we plot x a versus 1 minus x a versus t then uh, then in this equation if you see that here if you plot x a by 1 minus x a if you plot versus uh, t if you plot this pass through the origin and slope will give you the value of k into c a 0. So, we know the c a 0 value so for we can find out the value of k. So, this is this is exactly that from the slope we can find out that uh, value of k we can find out and uh, this is how the k value is coming around this. Now, this once we get this k value then we, we know our rate equation what is our rate equation minus r a equal to k into c a by c b am I right. So, k okay, now k value has been determined. So, we can put this uh, k value here and uh, this is how we can write the rate equation. And again I am telling you if uh, if we want to do the validity of the equation we can easily do by ourselves. In that case we shall have to find a correlation between the time and the and the substrate concentration and we have, have the theoretical values theoretical plot and compare with the experimental plot from that you can do the validity of the experimental results. Next problem uh, that is also very interesting that a 10 minutes uh, experimental run shows that 75 percent liquid reactant is converted to product by uh, by uh, half order reaction. So, up till now uh, what we have discussed we have discussed mostly the single order reaction or the and also we uh, double order reaction first order and second order reaction we we consider. But this is the half order reaction and what will be the amount converted in 30 minutes. So, that we shall have to find out. Now, uh, so in this problem the 10 minutes and the fraction converted is 0 0.75 
and uh, question is after 30 minutes what the how much fraction of a will be converted <coughs> now the equation half order reaction this if we, if we assume a to b that if k is the rate constant i can write that minus ra equal to k into ca to the power half so i can i can i can i can write this is minus ca by dt k into ca to the power half then we can take it here now this equation this is differential equation is like uh, the solving is like this x to the power n dx equal to x to the power n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 now if you if you do the similar thing here we will get um, the solution here 2 into c a to the power half minus c a 0 to the power because integration is from c a 0 to c a equal to k into minus k into t now once that here we have uh, this equation then uh, we at the same time we know that uh, c a equal to what c a equal to c a 0 into uh, 1 minus x a at any point of time. So, in this equation we can put the value of c a then we have this equation and then for different temper two different uh, time because the t 2 and t 1 if the fraction t 1 time x a 1 is uh, converted and the time 2 x a 2 is converted the we can have the expression is like this. Now, uh, this uh, uh, if we put this value of x a 2 as uh, 0 0.75 then after 35 uh, 30 minutes conversion is 75 percent. Now, uh, previously we have seen in the problem that uh, that that uh, uh, also that initial conversion also that uh, also 75 percent and uh, I can I can go back. If you if you look at now this uh, here we have what we have done that uh, the problem was at 10 minutes that co conversion is 75 percent. Now when we calculated here. We, we calculate it here then also we find that after uh, after 30 minutes the conversion is 75 percent. So, both cases the conversion is same. Now, we try to uh, find out why this is happening and then what what we have done we have we have tried to develop the correlation that we have here and uh, with uh, with respect to with respect to uh, this uh, time that. Uh, you see that we can write this equation like this and we can solve it and we will get this equation and then it 0.75 then it is about to 20 am i right then then if we if we go further then 20 equal to t by x a this one this is the correlation that we have then we can write x a if we solve it x a equal to this equations now in this equation if we if we put the uh, value of uh, different value of t, so you can find out the x a fraction. So mm, we then we can we can we can find a correlation. We can find uh, here we can find a correlation of this is x a. Am I right? This is x a and this is time. So if we put this equation, you will find this correlation like this. That means that 10 minutes time that uh, you have 75 percent conversion 20 minutes time the 100 percent conversion but 30 minutes again as per the calculation is concerned it is coming back to uh, 75 percent as per our equation is concerned so this is the this is the typical typical observation we have that at 20 minutes if you put the 20 minutes the con x a will be x a will be uh, a x a will be 1 that in x a will be 1 mean 100 percent conversion of substrate take place, uh, the, but at 30 minutes we have 75 percent. So, that is that is why we try to find out that uh, why this is happening, how this is happening we try to develop the correlation and establish the fact like this. Now, last problem that I want to discuss today that is the chain reaction that we I have already uh, discuss the theory part uh, of it this uh, unfortunately this is this has gone to the this side so you, if you look at a to r r to s so i can 
I can write here a to r r to s like this. So, this has shifted here. So, but it is like this. Now, <coughs> the for the elementary uh, series reaction a to r r to s this is c if is at uh, c at t equal to 0 c a equal to c a 0 and uh, r that is the intermediate substrate concentration and the final substrate final product for and uh, final product concentration that will be equal to 0. This is the boundary condition is that the question is that the maximum concentration of R uh, uh, what you find the maximum concentration and when it is reached at T max when K 1 equal to K 2. Now, previously we did not assume the K 1 equal to K 2 we assume that K 1 and K 2 they are different when you develop the correlation. Now, this is a particular problem deals with that uh, what will happen when k1 is equal to k2. So, we use two different approaches to solve this problem. Now, first we, we have this, uh, uh, this uh, we know that uh, this equation we can write for rate of degradation of R, Ra, the, the A is can be written k, k1, this will be k1 and uh, k1 into C A and R, 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 R equal to K 1 into C A this will be K 1 and this is K 2 not coming properly. So, I can write like this that uh, R R equal to K 1 into C A minus K 2 into C R this is this is unfortunately it is not come here. So, and rate of formation of uh, R uh, that uh, R s will be what s will be equal to k 2 into k 2 into c v. This is uh, we have seen before also this is how it can be expressed. Now, uh, the reason uh, it has been written that k 1 equal to k 2. So, we finally, it looks like this final equation if you look at it looks like this because the reason is that k 1 equal to k 2 uh, uh, equal to k if we assume that then the equation will come like this then we can write the overload reaction like this. Now, uh, we have already seen that you know that uh, total uh, initial substrate concentration at any point of time is equal to C A plus C R plus C S because if, if we assume this is equally molecular uh, conversion. Now, if you look at the first uh, that uh, substrate degradation that is equal to uh, uh, how you can write uh, D C A by D T equal to K into C A am I right. So, we can put it here to minus D C A by C A equal to K into D T. So, this is equal to D L n C A. So, for this I can put this is minus K into D T. So, if you put C A 0 into C A and this is 0 to T, then we can write that uh, uh, ln, ln C A by C A 0 is the minus this minus I can take it here and into minus K T. So, C A equal to C A 0 into E to the power minus k t. Now, in, in, in the second part of the reaction because if you, if you look at this is like this a 2 r r 2 s am I right. So, this is k and this is k. So, <coughs> so uh, rate of rate of formation of r will be what k into into c a minus k into c r. So, now I, I can take this k at this side. So, this is how it has come that d c r by d t plus k into c r equal to now this we have already uh, find out c a equal to what c a equal to c a 0 e to the power minus k t. So, I can write this expression like this. So, <coughs> if we multiply it both side by e to the power k both side if we multiplied then e to the power minus k, k t and minus in the e to the power plus k t they will cancel each other 
and we will be having k c is 0. Now, this, this is equal to nothing but d c r by e to the power k t by d t equal to k into c is 0. Now, <coughs> then we can write that d c r by e to the power k t equal to what? Equal to c is 0 t into d t. Now, this can be written in this form c r into e to the power k t equal to k k c a 0 into t plus constant. Now, applying the initial condition or boundary conditions at t equal to 0, r equal to r equal to r 0 equal to 0. So, constant will be 0 because if t equal to 0, then this also will be r a c r equal to 0. So, constant also will be equal to 0. So, this equation uh, will be what? c r into k into c a 0 into t. So, C r if you write the expression for C r then e to the e to the power k t that will come this side. So, if you if you can write k into C a 0 e to the power minus k t into t this is the this is the final expression that we have. Now, uh, now uh, we have already seen what we have seen that C r when we plot C r versus t what kind of plot we have it is increases then decreases am I right this is like the kind of plot we have. Now, at t max this is equal to t max at t max this will be c r max. So, at this particular situation what will happen d c r by d t that should be equal to 0 what we have written here as c r max say d c r by d t equal to 0 when t equal to t max. Now, if you put these conditions that you know in the previous equation, so this equation you now if you if you if you differentiate this, that uh, then what will happen? D C R, but here you see that we have uh, we have uh, this uh, two variables we have. We have here e to the power minus k t and with over t. So uh, we can we can we can differentiate if you differentiate here, what will be there? C R by d t equal to k C A 0, you can take common actually. Then we can differentiate first with, the with respect to this will be minus k into e to the power k t into t, then minus we can write e to the power minus k t into 1, because t differentiation with respect to 1 is 1. So, this exactly this we can we can show it here. Here, if we differentiate that, we will we'll get this uh, minus minus will be plus that you know we will get this equation like this e to the power k k 1 t equal to k t this is equal to uh, this one. That uh, <coughs> then then what we can do that uh, we can uh, we can we this cannot be equal to 0 am I right this cannot be equal to 0. So, if it is not be equal to 0 I can assume this is equal to 0. And if you put this equal to 0, then t max will be what t max equal to 1 by k, because uh, this this will cancel, am I right? This this will cancel. So, you, your k t, k t will be equal to 1. And if your k t equal to 1, then I can write t equal to 1 by k. This we can write. And this uh, t equal to t max. Now, this t max value T max value you can uh, you can put in the previous equation. We had the previous equation is there. So we can put the previous equation. You put the uh, T max equal to one by k, and if we one by k, this k k will cancel with each other. Then if we cancel, then what will happen? That uh, we'll be having uh, this will be C A zero into it e, e to the power minus one. Am I right? It is cancel. It is the minus one. And if it's minus one, we can write in this form: the C R max equal to C A zero into E. So this is uh, this is one approach, the easy approach, um, simple approach, uh, logical approach through which we can solve this problem. The there is another approach that also we have. Uh, now we can we still have to go back to our early that uh, derived equation, that why we have shown that T max equal to ln k 2 by k 1 k 2 minus k 1. Now, here 
if we put k1 uh, the, uh, this is uh, this is valid when k1 not equal to k2 now when k1 is equal to k2 then what is happening that this will be zero and this also the log one equal to zero and k minus k equal to zero so it is undefined zero by zero is undefined now here if you put the limit that limit k tends to k2 k1 tends to k2 t max well then limit will be uh, this limit ln k1 tends to k2 ln k2 by k1 k2 minus k1 then this is not equal to exactly 0 then if we if we if then we can write k2 minus k1 equal to x this we can write k2 minus k1 equal to x so k2 will be equal to x k1 1 plus k1 plus x then i can i can i can modify the equation like this then uh, then if we if we put you put the uh, uh, law ho the hospital rule the hospital rule equation is like this if you limit x tends to 0 x ln x limit uh, this will be like this so we can write in this form the same form we can we can apply it here we can uh, we'll come in this form and if we apply if you uh, uh, use this form then we'll find that this is will cancel then k1 k1 will cancel this will be 1 by k1 and then x tends to 0 i can ignore x then it will be 1 minus k1 and then uh, then since k1 equal to k2 i can write 1 by k2 equal to 1 by k now second approach that we have again we shall have to go back to our early that what we have derived then in this uh, we have shown you that uh, c r 0 by c a 0 equal to this now here also if we put uh, k 1 equal to k 2 then this will be 1 and this is 1 minus 0 1 minus 0 equal to infinity this is undefined what uh, what you call is indeterminate form now <coughs> this uh, equation also we can uh, we can we can uh, we can we, we have seen this is undefined this way also we can find this is undefined now if you come if you put the limit that this is k1 tends to k2 we can we have this equation like this then this is the this is the, this uh, let us see how we can solve it then again we can we can we can assume k2 minus k1 equal to x k2 equal to k1 plus x then we can write this equation in this form and then if we solve uh, applying this uh, uh, the law hospital rule then we will get this is equal to minus 1 then if this is equal to minus 1 then this is like this then then c r by c max uh, c a 0 equal to c a 0 equal to uh, um, uh, this ln is there so ln i can i can i can ln if we take it ln out that c r max by c a 0 equal to e to the power minus e 1 and uh, c r max equal to c a 0 by e so uh, this is uh, how we can we can solve this equation in other approach but uh, but uh, i feel that uh, the first approach might be comparatively easier as compared to the second approach so what uh, i want to conclude this uh, homogeneous reaction kinetics um, uh, because here we we try to find out uh, the different equations of for different type of reactions both irreversible irreversible reaction also of different types that we have uh, simple a to b reactions uh, we have parallel reaction we have auto catalytic reaction and we have also the chain reaction and another reaction reaction we have the reversible reactions so we try to uh, derive the uh, rate constant as well as the order of reaction of uh, of, of the of this reaction of this of this particular reactions and to to establish the rate equation we try to justify when you write any kind of rate equations we shall have to do the validation of the experimental results and to validate the experimental results we shall have to uh, <coughs> find a correlation between time versus uh, substrate concentration and then we can compare with the experimental results and if a deviation is less than 5% then it is acceptable if more than 5% we shall have to modify this equation.
So we do, we try we try to solve different equations. I hope the conception on the reaction uh, kinetics will be will be a little bit clear to you. Thank you very much.